Zambia Ambassador and Redken Artist Mandy McCullough. Shag, wolf cut, mullet, call it what you want, but today I'm going to show you one template to get any of these shapes. First, section the parietal ridge and clip the hair above out of the way. Then create a triangle. At the top, this widest points connect to the parietal ridge and the base is just above the occipital bone. This gives us consistency in the depth of our perimeter line. We're actually gonna start this haircut in the front. So after consulting with your client, decide where you want the shortest pieces of the face framing pieces to live. Then using vertical strokes, work with your razor from front to back. Then match it on the other side. The nice thing about working with a razor is that it gives us perfect imperfection. So if there's small nuances of indifference, it's gonna be fine because we want some organic feeling to the end result. We want a V or a U shape to the back of this length. So starting with the two panels I cut in front, I now just have to connect the back and then drop the triangle and we can start the interior graduation. What I'm doing is at the base of this section from my triangle section, I'm looking at where that piece of my perimeter drops out. That gives me the guide for where this interior needs to end and match into the perimeter. Notice I'm taking vertical sections and my elevation is 45 degrees below horizontal 90. Each one of these sections are directed straight out from where they live. As you're cutting this interior triangle, keep in mind that the top of those layers are not the shortest part of this haircut. We'll get shorter as we go up, so keep that in mind as you're determining the length. Finding the high point of the head, taking a vertical line from the top of the head to the top of the ear, section the front of the hair out of the way. We're gonna continue creating interior layers in the top section of the head. Again, coming in with vertical sections, and now elevating, again, 45 degrees. You can see from my previous section where the graduation lived, and now I just have to create a continuous line from the top to the bottom. Now watch this again. This is gonna be slow motion so you can see how my razor works through this hair, creating more layers in the interior of this haircut. The nice thing about this cut is that whether we want it to be a long shag or a shorter wolf cut or even shorter into a mullet, this process stays the same. We just get shorter each time with the interior graduation. It also just changes how long you want the length to be in the perimeter. Also, by working with this razor, I'm making quick work of getting a soft, lived-in texture, and I won't have to point cut the haircut when it's done. It also helps to open up my model's natural texture so that it'll have a soft wave even when it air dries. Now coming to the side, I'm first gonna come in and section out the fringe. The widest part of the triangle is at the outside corners of the eye. And now I just want to create soft organic pieciness, taking a vertical section, doing this in slow motion you can see. I've twisted the section and my razor works on the outside and then the inside and then the outside of the section again. I'm going to do the same thing with my next two sections, but I over direct these across to the opposite side of my client's nose. This gives me length on the outside corner of the eyes. So I've created a very balanced, but PC fringe. Now we just have to connect the top. So taking a vertical section across the top of the head, my guide is the shortest section in the crown and I'm connecting it to the longest piece of the fringe in the front. Here again, slow motion, look at what my razor's doing. Moving through the hair, the blade is pointed towards the ceiling to cut the hair off. Continuing that line, the hair is elevated straight out from where it lives on the head shape. Then I continue to work from center towards me in those same vertical sections and then from the center away from me until I've completed cutting the top of the shape. And the haircut's done. Look at all the natural texture that came through with the technique and by using the razor. Now, this one template of haircut can give you one of three different looks. Here's your shag. Take the length shorter and the interior shorter and you have a wolf cut. Take the perimeter and the length even shorter and then you're in a mullet. Keep it simple to create easy looks.